Next question from Quentin.pk on Instagram. What's your favorite and least favorite way parkour has evolved? Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, that's oh a really good question. God, that's a great <laughs> question. Um, speed on that one. Yeah. Holy crap. Okay. Uh, my favorite way. Let's let's well, let's start with my least favorite because I keep going on to the negative things. Let me start with my least favorite way, dude. I cannot stand how people use transition moves. I hate it. I hate it so much. So oh, like the useless moves, like a like a yes, butt roll or something. Yes, but even like okay, I, I've I've always made it a rule or a light rule in my lines uh, or like the way that I think about lines to um have a purpose. There is a purpose. Mm. This move has a purpose or going to this place has a purpose and if that if all that purpose is is to set up for the next move that's not a purpose like if you like let's say you're trying to get on top of a block to do a move off the block like yeah that's a purpose but like find a way so that that move that gets you on top of the block sets you into a position to get off the block and now like you're doing that move to set into the next move now a bad example would be i don't like seeing like a safety vault to a butt roll to a weird worm move just to cover some space across the ground like I don't know. There, there's all these tiny little just ugly things that people are doing for no reason other than, mm -hmm. well, I needed a couple extra moves in my line, so I put a couple extra moves in my line. And I think it looks really bad. I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a big believer. I love free running. Free running is a mix of parkour and flips. I don't like just flips that much, uh, and I don't like this weird, like, dancey thing that free running has become mm. uh, i like i like having free running with jumps with movement with speed with power with purpose yeah. and mix in cool flowy flippy things that's what i like to see mm. um now right. my, my favorite place that's evolved to is uh it's just getting it's just getting crazy it's literally just getting crazy like <laughs> it's to, crazy right to to the to the strongest definition anything that can be thought of we are now doing and it's getting done like every single day. So it, it's, that's cool. That's cool. Just seeing it's, uh, expectations shattered. It, it's kind of cool. It, it, what's not cool about it is when you look back and you realize for someone like me that I was never good at anything. You know what I mean? Like, like, Dude, like I have that like, same feeling. there's like seven year olds that are like better than I ever was. And I'm like, is that, was I like that bad? Or is it just like, has the level evolved so much? And I'm like, it's for me, it's probably both. Cause I was never that good. Right. But it's still like, you know, you see these teenagers and you're like, teenagers are doing today what we thought, like it, it was either thought to be impossible or it was never even imagined. So it was outside the realm of consciousness. Either way, it pushed this boundary. And you like well, got teenagers that are like still, you know, like having their mom make lunch for them, you know, and they're still like better than you ever were. And you're like, oh, well, my life was a waste. You know, what helps me, though, what helps me, though, is uh -huh. OK, so now you can teach like a, a relatively skilled young kid a castaway fast like they can learn a castaway quick right everybody can do castaways right when uh, i learned castaways and this this helps me put it back into perspective when i learned castaways i only knew one other person that i had ever seen do a castaway so that helps me to put it into perspective like hmm. right now you go anywhere you watch any video you will see the lowest most disgusting craziest castaways you've ever seen rewind the clock eight years nine years and maybe two three people were doing castaways so it was a different time it was a, a different, different time. time it was a different time we didn't suck that bad is what i'm trying to say <laughs> it's all about it's really about your skill within uh your peers and the time that you're there and we see this in all sports like yeah we, tr we compare like if you go to basketball and you compare like john moran to russell westbrook you compare them to like the players in the 70s and the players in the '70s in the NBA were just like, "What were you doing? You know, like, did you even right. know how to dribble? A, did you know how to dribble a basketball? <laughs> like, you're an idiot, you know." But it's like, it's just, it's just the era. The era evolves, yeah. and for some reason, parkour has like an era is like three years or something. So we're in like the like the twelfth era, or so, and it's crazy. I don't know. It is um, daunting as hell to start though. Like, if I was starting parkour now and seeing what people are doing, I would be terrified to start because like the skill level is just at such a what I would put like 
as an unattainable level for like mm-hmm. somebody that's never done it before. That's, mm. that's kind of scary to think about. And it's just going to get better. And people are going to be seeing that. And like, we don't have, we don't have enough ways to like bring newcomers up to like make that seem attainable. 